Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to use stats and achievements with Steam. I hope you're looking forward to it. Let's get started. And one last thing before we start, it would be greatly appreciated if you haven't already to go down below and check the link to my new Udemy course where we make a tower defense game in Unity. You can check out the promo video to see if it's for you and give the description a quick read. But apart from that, let's continue with the video. So in my previous video, I showed you how to set up Steamworks. If you haven't seen that, then you can go check that out. So you'd be ready to start up here. Or if you just want to skip into it, I'll put a link down below to the Unity package. You just click on it when it's downloaded. It'll open up in Unity and ask you to import. You just press import. And then you get this plugins folder with some Steamworks stuff. And then in your scripts folder, you'll have this steamworks.net steam manager. Okay. Then once everything is in, you just want to make an empty game object and stick on the Steam Manager script, okay? And that'll just handle the connection to Steam for you. Then make your own empty game object, and I'm gonna call this one Steam Achievements Example, okay? With an empty script on it, and here we go, ready to start. Before we actually code anything, we need to understand how stats and achievements works with Steam. Now there's a lot to this, and I won't be covering 100% of it, and one of the reasons is because to actually have your own achievements, you need to publish your game on Steam. So we're going to be awarding achievements from the developer project, which is called Space War. If I scroll down here, and I'll be linking to this page down below, okay? They have some uh, test achievements here for you to reward. Okay, so we're gonna be rewarding this win one game achievement to me, and it'll show up on my Steam page here next to Space War. So the two main things to know here is we have stats and achievements. Stats are not visible to the player, achievements are, okay? So you can see all the achievements for a game. You can actually set achievements to be hidden so that you can hide spoilers, for example. You know, if you want to have killing a certain boss being an achievement, maybe you want to have that as a hidden achievement so it only shows up when they actually get it, okay? Now, the reason we have stats is stats is a way for you to save certain progress. Like in Unity, you have player prefs. You can actually save certain stats on Steam. Okay, so for example, damage dealt, distance traveled, whatever, right? And how it works is as people are playing your game, you can constantly update those stats. And then as soon as, for example, the player gets to a save point or they close their game or whatever, you can then send that to Steam, okay? You don't want to be calling a Steam thing every single time you do anything because otherwise, I mean, you'll hit the rate limit and it won't allow you to do that. It'd probably be quite laggy as well. So what you actually want to do is you want to do it whenever the player saves or transitions between levels or something. So all the changes are stored locally until you call this method store stats and then it gets sent off to Steam. And this actually allows you to progress stats while you don't have an internet connection on an offline game. Then as soon as you do have an internet connection, you can publish them to Steam. Now, as I said, stats are private, okay? People don't see stats unless you set the stat to be the actual progress of an achievement. So if your achievement is deal 1000 damage, you might not want to wait until the player's dealt 1000 damage for them to know how much they've dealt. Maybe you want a progress bar that tells them, okay? So for an achievement, you can actually have a progress stat, okay? The stat that is used as the progress bar for this achievement, okay? So if you had a stat for damage dealt, and then you had an achievement for dealing 1000 damage, you would set this stat for that to be uh, the stat over here for dealing damage, okay? Now, for our example, because we don't have a game published on Steam, because we'd have to go through the whole process and have a game ready to go and have to pay a fee and so on, we're just going to be awarding the achievements from Space War, okay? Now, none of these have progress with stats, so we're just going to be achieve it, um, yeah, achieving them for the player, unlocking them. Now, if you look over here, it says uh, API name, okay? Achievement win one game. So when you make achievements on here, okay, so if you have your own game published, you make your own achievements, this is the actual like key that we use when awarding achievements in our Unity project, okay? So we will call a method and pass this through as an argument, and that'll actually tell Steam to unlock it. But that will only unlock it on my machine. I then need to tell Steam, hey, update everything, okay? So it'll check are all my achievements, and then, you know, if there's any new ones, it'll pop up in the corner of my screen saying, hey, you've unlocked this achievement, good job. And then if I go to my Steam page on my profile, it'll show up here. So let's get into that example. So to keep this example simple, I'll just be having it so that when the user presses the spacebar key, they get an achievement. Obviously, if they already have it, then it's not going to change. And by the way, I will be showing a way to reset achievements so that when you're testing, you can undo them, okay? That'll be quite simple. We'll do that at the end. Let's first actually reward an achievement. So first of all, we need to make sure that Steam Works or Steam Manager, sorry, is initialized, AKA is Steam open and it's got a connection. If it hasn't, let's return. And we want to do this only on spacebar, okay? So I'll say, if not, Keyboard, uh, sorry, input dot get key down, space, if space is not down, then we return. Then at this point, we want to award our achievement. Now, obviously in your game, this could be somewhere completely different. Wherever you want to award achievements for things or set stats, you do it this way. You say steam user stats dot, and then we've got obviously stats. You can get stats, you can set the stats, okay? Now the stats have this name and then the data. So the data is obviously the value of the stat. 
and then the name is whatever it is over in Steam. Now we're not actually doing stats now, we're going to be doing achievements, so let's achievement, okay. Uh, set achievement, and it just needs the name of the achievement. So if we head back over, you see here it's for this first one, ACH underscore win underscore one underscore game. So we'll do this, ACH underscore, and then it's win one game. Okay, now by doing this, we don't actually get anything popping up saying you've earned this achievement because that's only just stored locally. We need to actually tell Steam we've unlocked this achievement, please update everything, okay? So the way we do that is we say Steam user stats dot, and then we want to um, store stats, okay? This takes no arguments. All it does is it says here, stores the current data onto the server, and you get a callback as well. Now, we, we don't care about the callback. All we're doing is saying, hey, the user got this achievement, and please update it. So if we were to run this now, it would actually work. So let's give it a go. So to test this, I built the game so we get the full Steam overlay, okay? I've earned a zero out of five achievements. If I now hit the space key, notice how down here it says achievement unlocked, winner, and if I go shift tab, it now says most recent winner, win one game, okay? And if I actually close the game now, because I don't really need it open anymore, and I go to Steam, see here I've got no achievements. If I press the refresh, I've now got one out of five, okay? So the Steam achievements tracking is actually working. And as I said earlier, if you need to track stats, which we can't do right now, if your game has stats and you've got that, okay, it's as simple as Steam user stats dot set stat. And then obviously you put in the name, so it'll have a name just like this, and then the data will be the second parameter. The last thing you might want to do is to reset during testing, okay? Or maybe you just want to reset in general, but you know, most likely once a game is published, you don't want to just reset people's stats. So the way you do it is Steam user stats dot reset all stats. And if you want to reset achievements as well, you pass in true. Otherwise, you just pass in false if it's only stats you want to reset, okay? We're gonna pass in true and just comment this out so that when I press space, it should reset all my stats, okay? Head back over to Unity, press play. And once it's running, look at Steam. Okay, if I refresh, it should still be up. Okay, I've still got the achievement. If I press space, go back, refresh, the achievement's now gone. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Let me know down below what you want to see next. Next week, I'll be delving into some machine learning agents in Unity now that that's still in preview, but it's v1.0 now so that it's actually stable. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you guys next time and goodbye. But of course, before I go, I've got to thank my patrons. A special thanks to Taylor Rustio, Francisco Lira, John Selig, Liz Kimber, Drandy, Benjamin, Sam Marcus, Matt Fryer, Jay Colby, LN, Fabian Reno, Malvin, Zumran, David McDermott, Exit, Josh Folsom, Beardodai, Dustin Miller, Rack, Yoris Letter, Hady Zorko, Rene, and Sidedcore. If anyone else is able to help support the channel monetarily, link to my Patreon is down below. If not, there are also links down below to other social media, such as Twitch, Twitter, and Discord, as well as our website and our new Udemy course. If you could check any of those out, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.